It's all about appreciating a son of the soil who has put the name of Nima and Ghana on the globe. It's an undeniable fact that Kudus Mohammed is making a name in club football and also at the ongoing World Cup in Qatar. No wonder he's the first Black Stars player to score two goals in a single World Cup game. This mural being put up here at Nima says a lot. Mohamed Awudu is an international artist who's a native of Nima himself. He tells me how excited he is executing this mural. Everybody needs to believe themselves and it doesn't matter where you come from. You can achieve once you are disciplined and moving out from your comfort zone. So for me, I think Kudus is somebody, uh, it's a definition of discipline and uh, moving out from comfort zone. Yeah. What struck me was the love and unison by friends to ensure the mural becomes a masterpiece just like the person being honored. Some friends supported with spray cans, others showed love with their presence. This very gentleman is making a sound system available for a memorable day. Some just could not wait to see the art completed before taking pictures. Motorists plying the Nima Kanda Highway drove in less speed to catch a glimpse of the mural. The Nima that you knew 30 years ago or 40 years ago is no more the Nima now. Right now we're talking about Nima with art, Nima with sports, Nima with uh, people with the brains, Nima with people to be able to put us out out there and also put the country on the pedestal like here. The story of Mohammed Kudus is one of commitment, dedication and resilience. It is also not out of place to re echo the essence of parents allowing their guardians to pursue their passion. Kudus Mohammed was born and bred here. Hajia Khadija saw him grow. Actions of the Ayaz player back then are making sense to her now. Kudus always goes to play football after school. Despite all the scolding, that didn't deter him. He has really made us proud. Even at a tender age, his childhood friend, Tofik Mohammed, narrated how Kudus exhibited prolific skills. He knew what he was going to achieve in the future, and the passion was um, open for all to see. And here is it. He has um, proven everyone wrong that what he stood for, what he displayed, was something that was bound to happen. For others, they are not surprised to see Kudus doing wonders on the global pitch. I'm very excited. I'm very happy for him because... Especially knowing that we grew up together, we played together, kick about with a whole, whole host of other guys. And then he had the opportunity to make the step up. He made it and now everyone is singing his name. When I sit back and think about it, I'm very proud. Some may relate Nima with all sorts of social vices. But for Abdul Fatal Al-Hassan, who is popularly known as the mayor of Nima, people should yearn to know the new Nima. I can go on and on in the military, in the, in the, in the police, even... People outside, diasporans, we have people, our brothers and sisters, holding a big position in Japan, come, name them. So this kind of perception, they should stop. It won't help them. Although Kudus Mohammed has put the spotlight on Nima, the largest Zongo community has produced other greats, including DK Poison, Mohammed Polo, Issa Ahmed, and VIP. Mohammed Kudus started just like them, and there are a lot of Mohammed Kudus here at Nima. With little support and nurturing that may unleash their talent. Until then, they can only be inspired watching the pride of Nima on the global pitch. George Quinn, TV3 News, Nima, Accra.